What's up, everyone? Been a while since I've been on. It's uh, been nine days, actually, since I've had a live stream. I just got back from L.A. yesterday or the day before. Yesterday, I think. It's hard to remember. I think two days ago. I uh, had my two interviews that I'm sure a lot of you saw with Frank Ambali and Larry Carlton. Today's topic that we're going to talk about is really based on what Larry and I talked about. And I've done some videos on this, but I want to talk further on it. Actually, Frank talks about the same stuff, and they use very similar language with their playing. They use them in different ways. But uh, so this is a combining pentatonics and triads over particular chords. Um, somebody said there's a small typo in the in the uh, in the title. Well, I'll fix that later if there is. I don't have my glasses on. So, anyways, discount code for today is, and we'll look it up here. Aaron is doing the moderation today, is RB616, today's date, the 16th. Um, and it's 25%, which we do not do very often, almost never. Father's Day sale today. It's for all you fathers out there. Happy Father's Day. I don't know if it's your only Father's Day here in the United States, but... As far as I'm concerned, it's Father's Day around the world. So I've been hanging out with uh, with the kids today. And now we're going to talk some serious playing stuff here. So, okay. We're going to start first with major chords. So we're going to talk about the pentatonics and the triads that you have in pen on, on major chords. Okay. All this stuff is in my Beato book if you want to reference it. It's... It's all over the place in it, really. It's it's talked about in in how to build chords and do uh, polychords, if you will, or triads over bass notes, and what notes there are. And then there's also different types of pentatonics that you can use. We'll start with the pentatonics, we'll, and I'll show you how to combine them. So let's say that we take an A major chord here. I'm playing an A six nine chord here, but that's a that's essentially a major chord. Let me uh, let me play it a little. A little quieter here. Got my little sustainer there. Okay, so for this chord, we can play an A major pentatonic. Okay, that's a great, great sound. You can also play it the major triad built off the fifth, or the major pentatonic built off the fifth. So this would be E major pentatonic. Gives you this kind of a sound. So. Here's A major. Here's E major. Beautiful sound. You can also play the triad off the second, the pentatonic off the second of the chord. So that would be on B. So I can play B major pentatonic. I mean, you're only talking about major pentatonics for over major chords. So I play B major. Gives you this major 7 sharp 11 chord, right? So here's A major. Listen to the sounds of them. A major. E major. Then B major. E major. B major. So those three major pentatonics will work off the A major chord. Now, 
there are three major triads, actually four major triads that will work, okay? So I'm gonna play A major, but I'm gonna only play, I'm not gonna play the fifth in the chord because I'm gonna show you one that uses an altered fifth. So I'm just gonna play the root, the third, and the seventh. That will give us the, that will give us the sound of the major seven chord. Okay. So you can use, obviously, A major triad. Okay. You can use E major triad, same thing. And you can use B major, same ones. The cool thing is that you can combine the three triads. That's really what Larry's doing. So, um, so here's A, and then E, all three of them together here's B a major e major b major uh. okay so somebody said in here they hear pat Matheny too exactly he does the same thing all three of those guys use those. These are all in my Beato book. The discount code 25% off. If you haven't gotten it yet, today's the day to get it. I rarely do 25% off sales. It's, um, it's the discount code is RB616, today's date. Okay. So when you combine those three triads, you get a really cool sound. Well, there's a fourth triad, major triad that you can, that you can do, which is based off the major third. Check this out. So I'll play the same thing. I'm playing A major. So then I'm going to play C sharp major. Okay. So this is a Lydian augmented. Gives you that kind of a sound. So that's the sound of the scale there. Okay, and here's this arpeggio. Now you can use the one that's a whole step above and the one that's a major third above. I love that. Or you can use the one on the root, the second, and the third. Listen, here's the root. Second. Third. Root. Again, root. Second, third. Root. Okay, so those are your four uh, different triads that you can use over a major chord, okay? Those are all really, really cool. I love the sound of those. When you mix them up and just go between them, then you are, uh, if you can flow between them, this is really what Larry does with his playing. Thank you, Paul. 
is that, and thank you everybody for the Happy Father's Day, uh, is, is that you can actually create lines just based on those. You know, Larry said in the interview when he plays a G major seventh chord, he just thinks D. He thinks D major on there. He, well, he thinks D and he thinks A major, things like that. He, he uses those upper structure triads and he uses those pentatonics. Okay, so let's, let's go over this one more time. You got the pentatonics off the root, the fifth, the second, okay? And then you have the tr major triads off the root, the, the fifth, the second, and the third. The third, the one off the third, gives you that major seven sharp five or Lydian, uh, Lydian major seventh sound. Or I'm, I'm sorry, augmented major seventh sound. Um, now, let's talk about minor chords, okay? So minor chords are a little bit different. What's up, DJ? Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Once again, discount code RB616, today's date. All this stuff is in the Beato book. Um, if you have a minor seventh chord, there is a number of pentatonics that you can play. Okay, so I'm going to do, I like to do a minor 11 chord here for demonstration because it's a nice kind of, um, it's a chord that all this stuff works nicely over. So I'm using C minor 7. You can play them. I'm going to use minor pentatonics right now. Let me do it a little bit, not quite as loud here. Okay. You can use the minor pentatonic off the, off the root. the minor pentatonic based off the flat seven or the major pentatonic based off the flat seven I'm sorry that would be the minor pentatonic based off the fifth okay so that'd be G minor pentatonic I'll, I'll use all minors so it's easier to remember so C minor pentatonic G minor pentatonic that gives you the um, that gives you the minor uh, nine sound. Um, hold on one second here. Oh, Aaron's telling me I have a typo in the title. Well, there's nothing I can do about the typo in the title. Is there? I don't think I can, ch I can change the title right now. I'll change it afterwards. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, so minor pentatonic off the root, minor pentatonic off the fifth. Okay. Then you can also do the uh, minor pentatonic. So this would be like F major over over C, okay, which gives you that th the 13 sound, the Dorian sound. Okay, so F major is going to be D minor pentatonic. Okay, so that's off the second. So... Okay, so this is what's interesting. On a major chord, you can play, on C major uh, seven, I can play the C major pentatonic. I can also play B major for the Lydian. Well, on C minor, I can play C minor pentatonic and D minor pentatonic. Okay, so that is a whole step off the root. On major chords, you use major pentatonics off the root in the second. On minor chords, you use minor pentatonics off the root in the second. Okay? I'm using, yes, I am using a electroharmonics freeze pedal. Um, okay, so those are the triad, the different pentatonics you can use. You can use them off the minor pentatonic off the root, off the fifth, and off the second of the, of the scale. Okay, so if you're in C minor, um, oops, C minor, G minor, and then D minor. Okay. You can go between 
Minas. Okay, now let's talk about the triads that you can use. You can also, you can play a C minor triad, right? You can play G minor triad, you guessed it. You can play D minor triad. But let's talk about major triads you can play on these minor chords. You can play a major triad built on the second, so B major triad. So I love this because you got C minor pentatonic. So I go to, I'm using a C minor pentatonic. There's B flat major. So I'm combining that. You can use a major triad off the flat third. Okay, so you get the flat third. That gives you the notes. That gives you basically a C minor seven chord. And then you got B flat major. That's E flat major. Um, discount code RB616, 25% off anything in the store. The Beato book has all this stuff in here uh, that I'm talking about. Somebody just mentioned Eric Johnson sounding pentatonics. Yes. Okay, so Larry Carlton, Pat Metheny, Frank Ambali, Eric Johnson use all these pentatonics and triads. This is the sound of all of their playing. The only difference is the, fra the lines that they play, the phrasing. And, uh, and the sound, the sounds that they use. Um, so the major triad on, uh, on the minor chord, off the flat third, off the flat seven, okay? And then you can do it off the fourth, okay? So I'm doing it again. Hold on. <laughs> So here's the off the third. Let me make it a little bit louder. Hold on. This is off the third. Off the, the flat seven. Then off the fourth. So you got E flat, B flat, D. You can also play chords, you know? but I put the fourth in it. Okay, so those are really great sounds that you can play on there. Um, let's not forget about the minor seven flat five chord either. Let's say you're playing a C minor seven flat five. Okay, a C minor 7 flat 5, uh, you can use a pentatonic, but you have to alter it. You have to use what I call a melodic minor pentatonic. There's one simple one to use that I call a minor flat 5 pentatonic. Okay, so if you've got this chord here, C minor 7 
flat five, if I play C minor pentatonic and flat the fifth, that is a pentatonic from the melodic minor scale. One, flat three, four, flat five, flat seven. I've only changed one note, I changed the fifth, I lowered it down a half step, but I played. Okay, so that is the uh, try that you can use on it. You can also use B flat major. So here's your C minor seventh flat five. You can also use this E flat minor triad. Beautiful sound there. You can see that E flat minor because it's right in the chord. C minor seven flat five is E flat minor, right? But with a C in the bass. Same chord. Uh, happy Father's Day again to everybody. 25% discount code for anything in my store, RB616. If you're going to get the Beato book, today's to do it. If you don't have it. Um, um, okay, so those are, that. that's a melodic minor pentatonic. Now the triads that you can use on a half diminished chord are the triad... That are the triad that's right in the chord. Okay, so if I got a C minor uh, seven flat five, if you grab that E flat minor triad, which is right in the chord, and you say, well, what's that built off of? Okay, it's built off the flat third of the chord. So you got root and then your flat third. That's the whole chord of the sound of the chord right there. Okay, and then you can play the major triad built off the flat seven. Those are two great ones to play on the um, on that half diminished chord. Okay, uh, that that uh, this one here that's built off the flat seven is really cool. chord again. So I can play A flat major too. And B flat major. And E flat minor. But if I go from E flat minor to B flat major, it sounds really cool. A lot of people have a lot of trouble playing over half diminished chords. They see them and they they think, what do I play over a half diminished chord? They're so weird, you know? Do you play Locrian? Do you play, uh, you know, Locrian Natural 2? What do you play over that? Well, the first thing to do is just look at the chord. Just look at a voicing. If I play it down here, I can see that there's this minor chord right there. You say, what minor chord is that? Well, that's E flat minor. If I move it up there, there's E minor. So that's E minor, E flat minor. Or you can look here, and it's right in the chord shape there. Always look for, for sounds that are in the chord shape. This is not the half whole diminished scale. Okay, so now uh, let's talk about dominant chords, okay? So dominant chords, you've got your, if we take major triads, for example, let's say that we we have a G7 chord, and I'm just going to play the root third and seventh, okay? Now, Larry talked about in his video seeing this E major chord over G chord. Right? Because that's out of the diminished scale. Well, I can use that. I can also use the one off the root, G major. 
can use B flat major. Okay. And I can use D flat major. So they move in minor thirds. All right, so you got the one off the root, one off the flat third. Okay, the one is off the, the tritone, which is really good sounding one. Then the one off the sixth. That's where you start getting into those. Those kind of really cool patterns like that. That is a hard line to play. Woo! That is really hard to play. So that, that line uses all three. E, B flat, uh, um, oh, sorry, D flat, G major, B flat, that's E major. flat major that's the parent scale you can also use those minor chords based off those same uh, notes G minor B flat minor D, D flat minor and then E minor Okay, those are cool. something with feeling here how about this there we go I felt that <laughs> uh, okay so that is those are the triads that are out of the diminished scale you also have you also have triads that are out of the altered dominant scale um, there's a lot of triads that are out of the altered dominant scale you could put uh, you know a G diminished triad if I have a G7 chord. You could play a G augmented triad. You could play a an A flat minor triad, A flat sus4 triad, B flat minor triad, B flat sus4. I mean, there's just so many. They're all in my book. If you look up triads of the melodic minor scale, you will find them. Um, so if I play this chord here, and let's say I play A flat minor or A flat sus4. It's a really cool sound. I love that sound. Right? I can play a major triad based off the flat five and based off the, the six, flat six. Um, what about using the harm harmonic minor? Well, this is that's a totally different kind of thing. That would be that. Totally different sound. Um, 
You don't need to take notes. It's all in my book. Uh, so that's a, uh, those are the triads right there that are really useful to play. Um, triads and pentatonics that are useful to play in all types of chords. As far as pentatonics to play over dominant chords, you have your, your major and minor pentatonic based off the root. You have the major triad based off the, uh, the, the second, okay, which gives you the, um, uh, which gives you the Lydian flat seven sound, but doesn't have a flat seven in it, so it's not really. I, I don't think it, it's 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 cool um, if you play like Larry Car Carlton plays on Kid Charlemagne when he gets to the B flat seven chord. He goes. Um, plays a line like that. He plays this C, C major triad. So you get B flat major and C major. But he's playing he's playing Lydian dominant. funny because he's playing mixed Lydian first then he goes into that Lydian uh, flat seven sound on that chord um, and then you can play the altered pentatonic meaning the tr the tritone major pentatonic so if I'm in uh, B flat major I can play E major pentatonic right so I can play uh, I have to make it a dominant uh, let me make it in G so this be a G altered chord here that would be a D flat major pentatonic. those things the problem is once you play these altered pentatonics like that you have to resolve them somewhere you can't go back to unaltered because it doesn't sound good once you've increased the tension and adding those all those alterations if i go to the major pentatonic a tritone away i get the flat seven the sharp four the sharp five the flat nine and the sharp nine so it gives me all the alterations on a dominant chord but all this stuff is on uh, is in the Beato book. Discount code is RB616. It's a great time to get it. Um, everything else on my in my store is on sale too. Pick up a t-shirt, coffee mugs, you know the deal. Um, be back with new material this week. Got some new What Makes the Sun Greats. I'm going to be doing the band Pliny, uh, which I'm really psyched about. If you guys know that band, he's a incredibly great Australian guitarist. I'm going to do one of his songs. I'm going to do my first instrumental, What Makes This Song Great. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching.